Hey, I'm Ditech, and this is my attempt at modifying the NZXT H500i PC case. I did do this for somebody else, and she asked me to do a Tachanka mod, which is a character from the video game Rainbow Six Siege. So this is my interpretation of that request. This is actually the first time that I've ever attempted to CNC into anything other than like soft materials like acrylic. These panels on this case are actually made out of steel so I was a little bit nervous as to whether or not I was going to be successful or have the right settings on my you know CAD program or anything. Basically I've only got one attempt at doing this and I have to get it right the first time or else pretty much I have to buy a new case or figure something else out, I don't know, but luckily my friend Savant PCs is really good at this stuff. He's a PC modder and he's actually got a Shapeoko himself. So I kind of just collaborated with him to find the best speeds and settings to be able to cut through steel with this guy, so he was a pretty big help. Without him, it might not have come out as clean as it did because I would have been left to my own devices and uh, I'm kind of a noob. But anyway, like I said, he's a PC modder himself, he's got a YouTube channel and you can find him in the description. Cutting out that hole in the front panel took all of, I don't know, maybe five minutes. It was just a single cut in like a rectangular shape, and I didn't do too many step downs. I think just two to get all the way through. So that was kind of nice. The side panel, on the other hand, took like over an hour to do. I decided since there was so much details, I wanted to go really, really slow. So I set up the machine to take like four passes to get through the material in any spot that it's cutting. And there are quite a lot of spots, and this thing goes pretty slow. And I actually had to stand there next to it the whole time and keep on uh, lubricating it, otherwise it would spark and bad things would happen, I assume. I don't know. I've never uh, allowed it to get that far, so I don't really know what would happen. But I do know that you need to keep it lubed up if you're cutting through metal, so that's what I did. Despite taking a really long time to cut out, it did come out almost perfect, and I'm pretty happy about that. It was worth the hour that I had to stand there.
So on the side panel here, the one that's supposed to go under the window, I wanted to write Lord Tuchanka, but I wanted it to be kind of cool looking. So I did two layers of paint, one red and one white, and the red is actually supposed to sit behind the white and kind of be like a red shadow. It's supposed to be kind of subtle. And I actually ripped off some of the black paint as well when I was taking off the vinyl, but it showed through to the white behind it. And since I was going to make Lord Tuchanka white anyway, I kind of just decided to leave it there. Like um, Bob Ross used to say, it's like a happy little accident, right? So that's kind of just how I looked at it. And for this acrylic panel that's supposed to sit behind the side panel cutout, I painted it white and that's, you know, fine and dandy, but it's going to be rubbing against a bunch of wires on the inside of the case. So I put some vinyl over the top of the white paint just to kind of give it a shield so the wires wouldn't scrape off any paint or anything. And for the front panel, Dechanka silhouette, I wanted him to light up red, so I took this red LED strip and I soldered some wires to it. And it ends up just plugging into the Molex cable on your power supply, so anytime you turn on your computer, then Dechanka will light up as well. And in order to get the front panel back onto the case again, now that there is an acrylic piece behind it that's like a quarter inch thick, I had to cut this metal piece off of the motherboard tray because it was getting in the way of being able to put the front panel back on. It was actually taking up the space that the new acrylic panel was also taking up. So I cut it off and it's not a big deal. It's not uh, structurally integral or anything. And then the whole case fit back together just fine.
So hopefully you enjoyed that time lapse. I put quite a lot of time and energy into completing this thing and making it look good, and I think I did a pretty good job. Again, check out the description for Savant PCs, who really knows what he's doing with a CNC machine. He's way better than me at it, and he's also a PC modder. Also, check the description for RDX Mods, who hooked me up with the Tachanka silhouette that I used on the front panel, and a list of tools and materials that I used to actually complete this case mod. Also, a list of my social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, my website. I've got a lot of internet things. And if you want to see more case mods and case modding related stuff in the future, then subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one.